let me catch you up to speed. For those of you that haven't been paying attention, I'm in Canada right now. I've been up here for a month. I'm gonna be up here for a couple more months. Not ideal, but it's ideal for one thing. I'm gonna start competing again, and uh, I know what that takes. I know the dedication, the commitment, the focus, the practice, the work that it's gonna take to actually compete, because for the last two years when I played two tournaments, I wasn't dedicated or focused or committed to the preparation, to the practice, and the results showed that. These next five weeks, this entire month of April, is going to be a practice series about practicing with purpose. I've teamed up with my friends at Modern Golf because the weather here is still not perfect, so they've given me access to their facilities to get that good work in. So that's what we're doing today. Going to dive into my basically my first dedicated practice session in a long time. So uh, yeah. Let's get to work. This is it. This is modern golf. I'm in one of the bays here. Pretty cool. A little private area. I've got the range set up. Just going to get to work now. It's cold outside. I don't want to do this work on the range. So I'm going to go through a little practice routine here for 45 minutes an hour to get that smart, dedicated, focused practice. sitting down with basically the, the head honcho, Paul Fisher, like president and managing partner of Modern Golf for a little kind of backstory. It's been around since 2012. 2012, yeah. When I actually moved down to Toronto and worked for TaylorMade and was roommates with the now vice president of Modern Golf, best man of my wedding, Stu, who you're gonna see in another episode. So it's it's a family here. There's a third one coming in the GTA, right? There's actually, so there's three more coming in the GTA. Oh wow. So we've got to- Heard it here first. We're gonna, we're gonna expand the family a little bit more. So then there's also Calgary, Vancouver. There's Calgary and Vancouver. And then potential, some other ones. We've got some potential plans for out west for so this year. So it's, it's really cool, because Modern Golf, when I first became you know part of the Toronto golf area scene, if you will, there was one, and now it's like, it's a Canadian, it's not just a Toronto thing, it's a Canadian yeah. thing. that you can do on this property with our trackmans. That's when we when we started thinking about it, hey, what can we do with this business? We're like a hotel. We yeah. wanted to have the facility as busy as possible. We wanted to have as many people come in and enjoy it. We definitely understand that club fitting, you know, Canada is still a seasonal climate. Yeah. We're not gonna be fitting equipment all winter. You know, we had great space, we had the trackmans. Practice was a natural thing for us to get into. Like a, a membership feel, a club Big feel time. all year round. Absolutely. Where it's like you can go in, practice, hang out yeah. with your buddy. Obviously, COVID aside, when COVID is different, you can hang out with your buddies, Absolutely. shoot the shit, have a beer, yeah. work on your game, and enjoy it. Like, that's just why I think it's so cool what's happened at yeah. Golf. Yeah, and it's these things are expensive. But, Trackman, you're, you're talking major money for yeah. one of these. A membership here, uh, it's almost like owning one at that point, right? For a, for a fractional cost. Yeah. So yeah. 
We're excited to expand on it. Golf's in a completely different world right now where, um, you know, post COVID, I think there's going to be tremendous amount of demand for, for even more practice for corporate events. The social side of indoor golf is going to be massive. Getting the data from each shot, I'm, I'm reacting and kind of feeling it and figuring it out. But then when I get with my wedges, the, the clubs that I care the most about and have worked the hardest on controlling the launch, I get to see it right there. So it's just this efficient, no guesswork, data after each shot. Still visualizing targets, still trying to be as feel as I can, but I've got some work to do. So I'm feeling different things, getting a little bit of feedback, feeling different things, getting a little bit of feedback. Good starting point for the next five weeks of, of work. exciting though is living in the GTA or you know either in big cities like Vancouver some of this stuff you take for granted you know that there's yeah. a facility like this yeah. or there's track mans or we're excited to go to different markets where this is maybe not it's maybe not there yet how the Halifaxes of the world yeah. the Winnipeg's of the world yeah. you know these are great golf cities and like diehard, diehard golfers that are, you know, they're, they're desperate for this type of uh, practice with purpose and club fitting and all of these services. That's where I think that this gets really exciting is it's not just the focus on the big cities, the, you know, the Calgary's and Vancouver's and Toronto's of the world yeah. that's to go to some of these other, you know, they're not small cities, but um, comparatively, comparatively yeah, right? Canada they are, but yeah, yeah, golf is by no means small. committed work to getting better so that when competition rolls around I'm not kind of hoping wishing willing myself to play well I can trust my work because that's when I play my best golf is when I trust my preparation and if I'm being brutally honest the few tournaments I played last year and the year before I trusted myself but I also knew the likelihood of playing consistent and consistently well was pretty low so that's what I want to change and that's what hopefully this series can help you know, teach and help you. Knowing you know, what you got to do if you want to be better. The best players in the world are there for a reason, not because they don't put in work. it is we're gonna dive into the whoop from that practice session hour 9.7 strain for an hour of practice but yeah I'm saying this practice is efficient and when you're focused man you're, you're going and look at that my average heart rate was 128 so the heart rate was up the intensity was up 469 calories max 155 that's what we want we want to simulate things that are intense when we're on practice versus you know getting us ready for the golf course but team AJ let's let's dive into team AJ and see how everybody's doing. We're gonna give away a whoop strap to one lucky member. Uh, April, what can we do? We, we did sleep last month. Let's do recovery. Let's see who's been the most recovered today. Sam Spadafore, 98%, man. Where you at? USA, 23 years old. Ice hockey, horseback riding, coaching, man. You're doing a lot of stuff and that recovery, hell yeah. Remember, since October 2018, Sam, you the man. 
slide into the DMs. You just got yourself a new Whoop strap for being the most recovered today on Team AJ. If you want to get on Whoop, if you want to join us on Whoop, use the code COM AJ Golf. And if you want to get on Whoop, you can use the code AJ Golf for a free month or AJ15 for 15% off your membership. Solid practice session there. I'm tired. Got a bit of a sweat going. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you, you learned a little bit about where I'm going and, and why I'm choosing to go where I'm going. I hope you can kind of share that with your game down below. Let me know some of your goals and the dedication you're gonna put into your game this spring. If you are new here and there's a red button right there, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world. It would actually really make a difference. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you to Modern Golf for giving me the access. They're linked below. We've got so many great things coming. I can't wait to keep working and uh, see just you know how it pays off in the long run. Yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.